564 days until the 2020 election. Will this Mueller report be history for voters? Miguel Marquez is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a state that was key to President Trump's victory in 2016. Miguel, what are you hearing from voters? Well, look, lots of people are talking about it here in the Badger State, but few, if any, think the findings will make much of a difference to anyone. Good morning, Wisconsin. 48 degrees at Radio City. Release of the redacted day, Mueller report debates. in Milwaukee. So the, so the Talk of the town. Have. Obviously, the big story today, the Mueller report, the redacted version is coming out. Hopefully, as we speak, it, now. we got it. All right, On so, conservative so, talk radio, host uh, Steve Scafidi says he's talked Mueller four to five times a week for the past 22 months. Is, now that it's one, out there. For a lot of people on my side of the aisle, I think we're looking at this as, yeah, there could have been some reason to investigate this, but it's, I think it has been hyper politicized to the point where it just went on too long. And, and from caller history, after caller you, you after caller, the president the isn't perfect, but the investigation the has gone too far breaks, for too long. Redacted. Eddie from Franklin, real quick. I only got about a minute, Eddie. What, do you, what say you? I say it's a total fishing expedition. They had a prejudgment about Trump ahead of time. They just, you know, they don't like this character, which a lot of people don't. But I mean, they just don't agree with his, his policy. In the Milwaukee suburbs, Port Washington, in conservative Ozaki County, where in 2016, voters supported then-candidate Trump by nearly 19 points over Hillary Clinton. The Some Republican voters show. here say... We're sick of hearing about it. I think Washington, they want to focus on it. Those people want to. But for us, my friends, psh, we're sick of hearing about the Mueller. Democrats want more details, but concede regardless of what's in the report, it's likely to make little difference in how voters view the president. I think I've been reading about it for a long, long time, and, and it seems like um, I'm not sure anything is going to change. Closer to downtown in blue Wauwatosik, where voters back Clinton over Trump by 22 points. Some independent voters here say oh, the entire motivated. report Absolutely must now be released. Motivated. The full report needs to be fully disclosed to everybody so that we can read it and see what, what is actually... No redactions. No redactions in the report. The full report. Everything. The full report. Absolutely. We have a right to see the full report. Some Republicans also welcoming full publication, confident there is nothing there. If this was going to have any kind of major impact on anything, they would have already brought indictment or charges or recommended further prosecution. So I don't think it's really going to be the big, uh, big reveal like everyone thinks. Uh, I spoke to independents, to Democrats, to Republicans, Republicans that don't even like the president. The one thing across the board that they all seem to agree on, that if we're still talking Mueller in 2020 and the findings in the report, that will only improve the president's chances of being reelected. Back to you guys.